hello good good day friends after a long time i'm recording this video tutorial and in this video tutorial i'm left out with four more uh, programs perhaps uh, in the usp cd lab under the vtu curriculum so i'll be discussing the seventh program which is essentially let me open this program for you write a c c++ program that creates a zombie and then calls a system to execute the ps command to verify that the process is zombie this is the very program that we will be discussing today now before that we need to understand what is a zombie process now a zombie process is a process which has got an entry in the process table but has exited from the system essentially it is uh, not breathing but alive it's something like that so now uh, difference between an orphan process and a zombie process is orphan process is running in the system it is not exited from the system it is still running in the system and it has not got a parent not a problem it's still not a problem because something is uh, running some process uh, memory some uh, physical memory is utilized processing time of the processor is utilized but a zombie process doesn't uh, exit from the system in a formal way so when i say a formal way when a process exits it returns the exit status to the parent when the parent is not ready to cons uh, the pa the parent what it does is it collects the exit status from the child and it knows that the child has exited it will inform the operating system that the this particular child with pid so and so has exited so remove the process table entry from the uh, uh, in the process table so now when the parent does not collect the exit status it will not be able to inform the operating system to room, remove the uh, process table entry and that is when such a kind of a pro program becomes a zombie process now what is the problem with a zombie process a problem with a zombie process is that it keeps on occupying space on the process table process table eventually leading to the exhaust exhaustion of the memory in for process table so after some time you will now no more be able to create any more processes memory leakage will be a serious problem we are supposed to avoid such scenarios but in this program we are trying to create a zombie process just for the sake of understanding now uh, let me um, Uh, let me just show you how exactly these things work this is a small program very simple program what we are trying to do here is we are creating a uh, child process and inside the child exits and while the child is exiting what is happening in the parent parent is sleeping so when i say parent is sleeping it is in the waiting state so when the parent is in the waiting state child has exited parent could not collect the exit status of the child when the parent could not collect the exit status of the child this particular child becomes a zombie process and how do we verify that it is quite simple it is very simple to verify we use a command called as ps now what is a ps command when you do a man page for ps you will know ps command is used to report the snapshot of the current processes now i'll simply show you by typing ps and you will know that there are three processes that are running one is the bash which is the shell the presently currently using shell the second one is the gedit the program the seventh program is opened in an editor called as gedit and the third program which was executed just now ps is this one now i want to look into all the processes in the system how do i do that let me go to the man page once again if we scroll down we'll see that there is something called as ps minus e and this is the very function very option or a switch that is used to list all the processes in the system so i can list all the processes if i if i scroll it you can see that uh, all the processes right from the init process all the processes are listed now if i want to uh, list this process in a specific format i use one more switch along with this let me clear this program for you yeah ps 
minus e all the processes and in a specific format that is o for output i want to list the pid of the process first later i want to list the ppid that is the parent process id of the i need to list the status of the process and later i need to list the very name of the process the command okay when i do this uh, without without e let us see how does it work you can see this is the first process the status is dash status is dash status is dash so now this is the uh, file name which we are uh, which is been executed now if i use minus e dash is nothing but normal dash is normal status is normal it is pre presently running okay when i say all the processes this is how it is listed okay now we'll get back to the program now what we are trying to do here is after we create a zombie process we are listing all the processes in the system to check whether the system whether we have a zombie process or not let us try to execute this program gcc and the program name is 7zombie.c and we'll get an a dot out file and now the process listing will be will appear and you can see there is an entry here this is the entry dot slash a dot out this was the command that we executed right now and look at the uh, process id here and it created a child process and that child process is marked as defunct or z plus the status is z plus indicating that it is a zombie process okay if a process is a defunct process it is also called as a zombie process or a defunct process this is how you check whether a process is zombie or de defunct now what we have done again we have created a child process and even before the child process even before the parent exited when the child exits and the parent is in some other state apart from the running state then the parent cannot collect the exit status and the child process becomes a zombie process i am hoping you understood this particular uh, program we will uh, be looking uh, meeting once again in the next program next video uh, upcoming uh, ses session thank you